everyone, good morning. It is Friday, January 29th. Yep, today is not too busy here in the morning, but this afternoon we're gonna go down to the island. Um, I have to do some art stuff. We're gonna do some beach time. Um, fun day, okay? Georgia, it turns out our day just got a lot busier. Come on. So it turns out there's a few more things we have to do today, but it's not a big deal. Um, it's just gonna be kind of busy. But you know, that's all right. I could use busy days sometimes. Melee, gotta go. I checked my Instagram and I noticed you guys got me to over 240 followers on there. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for that. Ah, that's not cute. I don't want to see you scratching your nose. We then had like a full two minute conversation about the whole like an old trend that we used to do when we were seriously like 10 years old. And apparently Brinley cannot remember that at all. This random cute little, what we call them as dinosaur ducks, showed up in our neighborhood the other day and I'm not complaining at all. We then all hopped in the car together with the whole family and I didn't do any of my journaling last night or this morning. So I went ahead and hopped into that because I just felt like I wanted to do it. So I finished that up while we were all in the car. Brinley and I, while on this kind of 45 minute car ride, just spent a while to ourselves. I was reading a book and Brinley, I believe was beating. And we're just kind of having some nice quiet time to ourselves for a while. It didn't stay quiet forever though. I found out some funny but also surprising, I guess some family history that I had just missed out on and was a little shocked about it. We picked up these books from the library the other day and decided to read those. Of course, we had to stop at the recycle center because we always take the recycles for the Meals on Wheels for Galveston County down to Galveston for them because they have like a big recycle location down there. We then drove to a place called Penny's. It's a nice like Mexican barbecue type place to get some tamales for my granny. And uh, I almost died in the process. Obviously, I injured myself quite extensively. Now it's finally time to head down to the art gallery to change out some art. It's so beautiful in this part of Galveston. Really, the whole the whole island is beautiful, but this is a really nice area. I love these turtles that are around here. It, they're gorgeous. This is actually my mom's photo. She took this photo of a sea turtle, and I'm so, so proud of her. It's a gorgeous photo. It made it into the art gallery. It made it into the jury show. All of her pieces made it into the jury show. And um, I, I'm so proud of her. And... The piece was gorgeous. I'm so glad it made it into the front window. She deserved it. We got out of the art gallery with Let's my two go, pieces. Mama. And one of my pieces made it into the jury show. And these are the two pieces I'm taking home today. We saw this super cool tree on the way to the Rosenberg Library. It's a gorgeous old library. And I'll tell you more about the history later. I read my book while my sister and my mom actually went go looking for her a book. She's been looking at a lot of um, indigenous people's books about beading and art and clothing. Um, she's getting really into beading and she's uh, appreciating different cultures and um, I'm loving learning with her. Of course, we got to stop for fries and then we drove down kind of downtown Galveston because it's gorgeous and it's just really fun to show Granny around. We saw this building and it said Karankawa. Please tell me if I'm saying that wrong, if any of you know. But I also, I learned recently that those are the native peoples that lived in our area where I live now before everything, you know, before genocide happened and before um, they were unfortunately pushed out. So it was really kind of cool to see that. Okay, hey everybody. The next clip I'm gonna show you is actually just my family just being weird and fun and I just wanted to show you. But for context, when my sister starts reading off her phone, we were actually just trying to understand like a conspirator's code. We did, Someone had said something in some form of code and we're not in, I guess, in the group. Um, so for context, that's what she's reading and we find it quite funny. She's liking evidently somebody or something or-, or Like popping off. Oh my gosh. I love how my eyes look- Ooh, are they popping off? Yeah, her I can't see. Her seemed a little strange. I love my eyes he pop off when I'm doing my videos. Like, what are you doing? She gave me- They're really, really- They're almost she gray. She evoked 
They're like light. They're like gray with a tint of that green. Was very a dominating person. Things. You're saying that the, the suffragettes, suffragettes were. Oh, well, let me tell you. They, they were killed called everything under the sun. A golden cup full of abominations and they, filthiness. They were killed and and they were put in prison. And... Fornication. I like it. The you suffragettes. Like that word? Yeah, it's very fun. It's a it's a fun word for this um, scenario here. Anyway, I was like, I just was like, not too much in the mix again. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Yeah. That's like a nubbins. Okay, now that we're done with that, I'm going to show you this really beautiful place that we found. This little hidden gem is beautiful and I'm really glad that we found it. It was nice to spend some outdoor time. It was pretty quiet for the actual area that we were in and it was really beautiful to see. I had never been in that specific spot before and it was a really cool experience. After that we hopped in the car and I tried to read a bit more. Of course my family did distract me with conversation but I'm very happy with that. I love having conversation with my family, we're very, very close, and I really love that about us. Was he? Thanks everyone for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed today. Today was really fun. We got to get out and have some um, safe fun. Of course, we, uh, we, we really enjoy getting out. Of course, it's been a year now since the pandemic, and I know um, a lot of people are suffering. A lot of people can't get out at all. Fortunately, we can get out um, in areas where there's no people, 
in nature, times to be alone. And it's really, really nice. And we're very, very fortunate and blessed to do that. Um, I hope you guys get some of those opportunities as well to get outside and have some fun. Um, thank you guys for spending the day with me. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like, anything you found funny, and anything you want to see me do later. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. Don't forget to like this video. See you next time.